Hello, this is MyPipelineAcademy.com where you can outsource mechanical design engineer training. Today we're going to cover what's the best method to reverse engineering this pen that's not 3D scanning and why. Well, suppose you can't 3D scan, it's whether too expensive or you don't have the equipment. So how would you go about it? You probably use calipers. But what are the drawbacks of reverse engineering this pen using the calipers? So imagine that we're not looking at the photo, we're actually holding the pen in our hands. If you had calipers, the calipers gonna come in contact with that face of the pen, and here, if you wanna measure, measure the apex, but this measurement is actually not very accurate because the calipers are at an angle. If you wanted to me measure the apex, you wouldn't know exactly where it is with the calipers. With this photograph you can tell, but imagine we're not looking at the photo. Just with the calipers, it'll be hard to tell where the apex is. Also, this is a very compliant material, this handle right here. So if you place your calipers on it, the material is squishy and it's going to give you an inaccurate uh, diameter measurement. And lastly, how do you know what the curvature is going from the larger diameter to the smaller diameter? That's going to be very hard to tell with calipers right here. The solution is to photograph to reverse engineer. You want to have the highest quality possible camera that you can, but by all means, you don't have to get one of these spectacular Canon cameras that we're using for this exercise. Your mobile phone will do. You want to get the zoom in the highest possible setting, and there are three camera settings that you should watch out for. The aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. And to learn more about those, watch other YouTube videos, because there's balance and drawbacks for all of the settings. But ultimately, you want a picture that has a high contrast background with crisp edges. So if you look here, we want to have a crisp edge to where the product ends and where the background starts. This is what you don't want. And another crucial thing when taking a photo is you want the picture perpendicular to the plane. This picture is worth a thousand words. That's what I mean by that. And you want to try to... Try to try your best to eliminate perspective and parallax. If you don't know what that means, please YouTube it. We have a little booth here, a pipeline, and we took the picture from the top. As you can see, there is the pen, and the picture has a high contrast background. We picked an orange background. A pro tip is that you can use a little bit of clay to hold the pen in the perpendicular plane shot. So here this pen has the clay down here to hold it in that top view. <clears throat> now there are two ways that you can go about capturing this picture. You can have a ruler sitting next to your object and that's option one because the picture will now have a reference. And option two is taking the picture like we did now without the ruler next to it and using the caliper calibration method. So you take the longest dimension to reduce your error. And there's gonna be about a 0 0.01 inches error inherently in calibration measurement. So we took this measurement with the calipers by hand after we took the photo. And then we input this measurement into CAD, which I'll show you in a moment. And here we have the front view. And the front view gives us the curvature for the button. So now let's go ahead and jump into CAD and I'm gonna show you how I did this. Disclaimer, this video should only serve as an introduction to the concept of reverse engineering from photographs. We're not really gonna show you everything there is to about how to reverse engineer an object. That would take way too long, and this is just a quick and dirty way to learn the concept of it. You're gonna see a lot of things that could have been done better, some undefined sketches, etc. But if you really wanna learn all the details as to how to reverse engineer an object, you could schedule one of our workshops, and we could teach you or your engineers how to do so. Just simply go visit mypipelineacademy.com and click on the contact tab, and we can schedule one of these workshops in your company or with yourself. And if you need us to reverse engineer one of your objects, you could also contact us too. We have a team of engineers that can do so. But once again, this is simply a quick and dirty way and it's not the perfect way to do so. So re let's roll the feature tree up and I'm going to show you how I did this. So here we pasted the picture from the top plane and it's hidden. So I'm going to show it. And we traced along it. <clears throat> One of our favorite features is a style spline and simply trace along the edge as you can see. And the only measurement that we took was a 6.9 inches from the tip to the very end of the pen. <clears throat> the next thing I did 
was to include the front picture and trace along it. Now what I would have done differently was to put the plane and the sketch, sorry, the picture and the sketch on different sketches. But I did a quick and dirty just to show you the concept. So here I'm tracing along the button. We get that curvature that's so difficult to capture if we were just using calipers. So thankfully we're using the photograph method. Now we have our first solid body. <clears throat> Excuse me. I decide to not include the button. And this is what it would look like for a solid body. Now I got excited when I first did this. It's, it's starting to look like the pen. And we did a quick cut using the front plane, as you can see. And let me dive a little more into detail there. I'm sure you appreciate that. Okay, so that's the cutout that we did using the front plane. Now we extruded the button from the top plane. Some things were left undefined, no dimensions, not a perfect <clears throat> not not a perfect model. We know, just showing you the concept. And here we have a cutout of the button, and there we have it. That's our pen. And below, there's, as you know, in CAD, there are many things to do so. So this is kind of the beginner way with extrusions and cuts. But let me show you a little more advanced way <clears throat> of doing this model. And that would be with surfaces. So I made this surface utilizing the front plane sketch. So I made a surface out of that through all. And then I extruded from the bottom, from this bottom plane up, and I hid the surface, and there we have the button. <clears throat> so two ways to create the button feature. One is a more advanced way using surfaces. By all means, not perfect, quick and dirty way. But if you want to learn the full way to reverse engineer objects in very detail, uh, just go ahead and contact us for a workshop, and we'd be very happy to teach you and your employees. Thank you very much, and I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments.